I'm Jordan Morris, and I'm a forward for the U.S. men's national team. I was nine years old when I was diagnosed with type 1. I was having some, some symptoms. I was you know, losing a lot of weight, overly thirsty, having episodes of high and low blood sugars. That's what I would later find out it was. And my mom is a nurse, and so she recognized kind of the symptoms I was having. She had dealt with, with diabetics before. I know the first question my mom asked the doctor was, can he still play sports? Because I knew that's what I wanted to do as a kid. And the, and the doctor said, the more sports, the better. And I kind of took that and ran with it. And I told myself that I wasn't gonna let type one hold me back from, from getting to where I want to be. And as a kid growing up, my main goal was, was to play in a World Cup. Yeah, I think this is the MRI of my second torn ACL that uh, I suffered when I was playing over at Swansea. Yeah. I was probably playing the best soccer in my career at that point. Was really excited about that move overseas. Excited to, to be in Swansea. It was a great group. My wife, you know, quit her job to, to move overseas with me. And so there was so much that, that went into to that process, not just for myself, but for, for my family as well, and was just really getting settled and, and, you know, to have it all taken away again in a split second. And I knew that all that kind of hard work was gonna have to, to be done again. I would be lying if I said that there weren't doubts that crept into my head that maybe I wouldn't be the exact same player when I came back. I think for me, the motivation and the understanding that I did it the first time and came back, you know, even a, a better player than I was before, a more motivated, more hungry player than I was before, kind of gave me that perspective going through my second one that, okay, I can, I can do this again. I, I did it once before and, and I know that if I put in all the hard work and, and, and do the training and the rehab every day that I can come back a, a stronger player. The kind of the most difficult part of dealing with diabetes is that it's a 24 seven job. So you always have to be on top of it. But with my rehab, I kind of took the same approach is that every little thing I could do was gonna be so important to try to get me back on the field. I think specifically, you know, with this, with this last one, I think the, the perseverance to get through was to get back on the field as quickly as possible, knowing that the, the World Cup was was just around, uh, you know, around the corner that, that next year. And that was kind of my first thought when I got injured was, okay, I have enough time to, to get myself recovered, get myself back on the field, and, and hopefully get back to, you know, the group and back in with the national team. I told myself that I wasn't gonna let type one hold me back from, from getting to where I wanna be. And looking back on, on that, looking back on the, the knee injuries again, it would just make all the, the hard work worth it. My main goal was to, to come back stronger, to come back and be a part of, of that group and, and to hopefully make the World Cup team because um, that's every little kid's dream.